Wow. Wow, here we go. <laughs> it's Max and we're back. Um, I brought this up in another video. I haven't talked about um, other small channels out there. So here we are doing it. I have to, uh, of course, go refresh everything so I can uh, look at the stuff. Here we go. Do I have it? There we go. There we are. What I want to talk about today um, really is, you know, I've always been a very big proponent of people going out there. And if you don't have, you don't want to hand out gospel tracts, you don't want to, whatever, it's not your thing. You can create YouTube videos. All right. That's how it is. So. I was on a, um, hey Aaron, hey Rich, um, I was on Talking Doctrine, sort of, I think it was in, the, I was just in the chat, but I was on there, we have Levite Khan, and we have um, Matthias, were debating a point of view, and that was really cool. It was really cool to see that set up very well. And the people that, you know, are hosting it have like 150 subs to them. They're not really putting out their own doctrine. They're just hosting, but they're doing a good job. So today, what I'm doing Sunday afternoon <laughs> is... <sighs> I don't know. I don't know how many people saw my Gene Kim video. I think that um, I took them, basically unlisted them because I was being unfair to Gene Kim. I was being unfair to him. So that's how that goes. And I unlisted them. They're still up there, but uh, I was too angry. Okay. That's how it goes. I was too angry. So we'll move on <laughs> to, to trumping up other people. My screen share does now work for some odd reason. All right. Now, I want to talk maybe about, you know, I have to go off the cuff. I don't have anybody else here. My reason for going into you know, Bible school was basically apologetics, okay? Which means you fight with everybody. You fight with them all. You got to fish the cuffs up. And that's my thing, okay? It's not everybody's thing. But that's what my thing is. And, you know, I do Bible studies. I do this. But at a certain point, this is the problem I ran into, okay? I've taught everything that I can teach. All I can do is fight against garbage, doctrine out there. That's really what I have left. And I was going to quit many a times. And people insisted that no you keep going you keep going so here i am and i don't endorse these the people i don't in, endorse what they're saying or their doctrine or anything like that i endorse the fact that they are attempting to do something for the body of christ and I think that's fantastic. All right. Because you put yourself out there and that's a big thing. That's a big thing that people won't do. They just won't do it. It's hard to put yourself up there. Especially if you're not somebody who's used to going up, you know, like you have to make a speech in high school or college. 
something like that. Nobody wants to go out in front of the world and talk about something because you will be beaten down. You will be nitpicked. You will have all these problems just because you did it. It's better that I just don't do it. No, it's not. Put your voice out there. Put your voice out there. Sometimes uh, correction is a good thing if you're messed up on something. But it's a very safe way to go out there and uh, go preach. Very safe. Very safe. All right, so... Hey, Victoria, I'll check chat quickly here. If I can figure this out. So why I need multiple people. Okay. <laughs> I need multiple people. <clears throat> so let's do, I can't look at chat anymore. And we'll look at some people who I've looked at, you know, and Ben, um, you know, like talking doctor, and I've been on there a bunch. Okay. I think I'm screen sharing that. Modern day debate. They did a debate last night that was eternal salvation free grace or you lose your salvation and it was between matthias and levi Kant. now this guy um i don't know what this doctrine is but he runs a really tight ship like really tight and that's what i want is where people can go back and forth and actually do things like that it's an apologetic standpoint i understand and I know a lot of people don't like Matthias for whatever reasons, but that this is what I want is that you just sit there and moderate between different opposing views and people can come up with their own conclusions. I'm very, very big on that. Okay. Good thing. Good thing. And no, I'm not endorsing these people by any means. I'm just saying it's good that they're out there. It's good that they're out there and the discussion is happening. All right. We'll move on. ABC Christian. Another one, smaller channel. Look, this is great. Okay. You're a Christian, you get saved, you go out there. This is a very easy way to preach the gospel and put your opinions out there. Yeah, but you know, you're on the internet, you're, you might get attacked here and there <laughs> from certain peoples. Um, Anchored Alliance, I don't know anything about, but he did the after show um, for the debate. Okay, and I think debate between um, people calling themselves Christians or whatever they're doing is a good thing. It's a good thing to have out there because it's probably going to be out there forever, right? Probably already going to be out there forever. This is one of Brett's, Brett's favorite, James Smith. Um. I don't have a problem with the guy. All I can say is, James, um, put your uploads at the top thing because I really don't want to have to click on videos every time I want to watch you. Um, James Smith is a smorgasbord of Christianity, and that's kind of like how I am. You know, I put whatever I want to on my channel. Sometimes I'll be playing guitar. I might be singing. 
And sometimes I am doing a Bible study and I appreciate that. You know, it's, you know, honestly, it's our stuff. And at the bottom line, it comes down to just entertainment. It's entertainment for people. Edward. Oh, man. Everybody hates this guy. Hmm. Ed's got his stuff together. And everyone says, all that Ed does is go out there and goes to tax people. Um, no. Just what he's doing right now. Yeah. I'm going to check chat real quick. I don't have enough monitors to keep all this stuff up. I need a third monitor. Rich G, got to love Ed Bro. Yeah, I mean, I don't have any problem with that. Sorry, this is very hard to do um, by myself. Then the Brian, the cult leader. Yeah, well, that's not the subject of what we're talking about, but yeah, you're right. Yeah, see, I can't even get back to where I was talking about. There we go. And more on Robert Breaker. And some of you out there might have seen, you know, I took him down. I was very unhappy and very uh, ticked about what Gene, Gene Kim was saying. I don't know if people know who Gene Kim is or not. I don't care. But it really ticked me off that Christians won't trump up other Christians. <laughs> and Gene Kim's thing was like, one of us, one of us. Well, Robert Breaker is one of them. They're PBI Institute. They teach all the same stuff, and they're just not going to mention the guy? But that was insulting. I mean, the guy is obviously very, very popular. <laughs> what, what are you doing with that? What are you doing with that? So going back through, um, you know, like I said, I'm doing this live stream. Because I haven't done a um, a thing trumping up people on YouTube who are trying their best. There's, you know, James Smith, his videos are like at least a half hour to an hour long. Um, their people are really putting a lot of effort into this stuff. And I don't, you know, Anchored Alliance and um, Modern Day Debate, they're very... Um, Kent Hovenish and the way that they go about things. But the fact remains that they are doing a decent job, okay, in what they're doing. They're doing a decent job. And that's a good thing. You know, I mean, you want to talk doctrine, you want to do this, you want to do that. He moderates everything extremely well. Very respectful, very good guy. Well, I don't know the guy, but he treated me okay. And everyone knows I'm kind of a, I'm kind of a, a hoo-ha, <laughs> whatever people want to say. So <clears throat> I'm going to try, I'm going to try to go back. There we go. and do this thing if people have uh other pastors or other channels they'd like to recommend go ahead and throw them in the comments the ones down below not the ones that you guys are talking to each other with throw them down there brett's on here 
<laughs> oh, yeah, and go check out Brett's channel, too. That's what we have going on right now. And yes, I did take down my two videos. I was being unfair to Gene Kim because I was angry. That's how it is. Took him down. Valerie uh, Lonnie Martin has good stuff. We'll throw it in the comments. I'll, I'll check Lonnie. Is that a girl or a boy? Like Lonnie Anderson? WKRP? Cincinnati? <laughs> Right, so there you have it. I think I went through every one that I had up. And I just want to say that, you know, this thing was kind of what I wanted to do originally. Um, modern day debate. That was kind of my whole idea for doing live streams. Because I literally went through almost a whole New Testament with my Bible stuff. And there's there's nothing left. And I really only like I, I went to school to be an apologist. Which basically means sticking your finger in the eye at people. I went to school for that. And <clears throat> now years later. I'm kind of stuck here. I got nothing to talk about. Nothing to talk about. <laughs> and I it's nice that there is a place that apparently people respect this guy. I've never heard of him before until last night. But I watched Matthias and I watched Levite Khan, and they're talking about whether or not salvation is forever or not. And that was a, a really good topic. Now they never nobody really put a line in the sand and whatever nobody that topic was not i don't know um cement we'll say that topic was not cemented but it was nice to see people on the internet and a lot of people watch Matthias, a lot of people um, probably watch Levi Khan. It was nice to see these people get together and actually have a back and forth discussion that wasn't overridden by people breaking in, basically breaking into the conversation and go, mah, 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 and that's cool. That's cool. That's why you don't see anyone on my channel. <laughs> so I'm not going to have that crap. I'm not going to have that crap. Um, however, you know, I do think that the guy who runs the channel, I'm not, I'm not sure what his affiliation is. I'm not sure um, what his beliefs are. I don't care. As long as he runs the channel, okay, fine. He starts teaching doctrine, then I'll have a, you know, I might look at it, but he's not teaching doctrine. And that's what's important is uh, a meeting place, which is, like I said, what I was trying to do, where I was gonna, basically going to stop making videos and have a meeting place for people to talk about certain things in a uh, 
a place where I'm talking now, and then you get to talk. I am talking now, and then you get to talk. Not the, not what you get with a lot of, a lot of places. All right, so I was able to screen share all of this stuff. I think that's about it. Lonnie Martin has good stuff. Well, I'll check it out. JW, why do you feel you were unfair? I'm not sure what you're referring exactly to. Sorry, I'm off the cuff right now, so I don't have a script. Oh, unfair. You're talking about Gene Kim? Is that what you're talking about, JW? Oh, oh, yeah. Um, my wife sent me a link to Gene Kim's video about recommending um, smaller ministries out there. And it reminded me that I had not done that myself. And I'm like, oh, I, I'm kind of ticked there because that's an important thing to me. And then when I had listened to Gene Kim, it was all a sort of, I don't want to call it Freemasonic, but it was sort of this cultish one of us, one of us, one of us. <clears throat> and Gene Kim goes out there and says that there might be other people out there with, uh, you know, more support than we have. Uh, so I'm not going to bring them up. And it's like, why wouldn't you? That is the dumbest thing I ever heard. You're trying to save people and get them out of hell. That is the dumbest thing I have ever heard. And I don't care. Um, I don't care. Robert has like 200,000 something subs. I don't care. I'm going to say, look at this guy. Look at this guy. I don't care what his sub count is. I really don't. Or look at Rex Remedy. Look at him. Look at, look at these other people. Doctor and doesn't care about your sub count does not care but gene kim one of us one of us one of us and it's peter ruckman is too okay and i know a lot of people out there saved by peter ruckman peter ruckman's a great bible teacher scholar but he does have problems Okay, he does, and I don't give a crap about anybody who says they learned about such and such from some other guy. Okay, I just don't, and obviously, everybody learns from other people, it's the way it works, but to make that a a blatant statement in every single thing you do and as a justification for calling other people dirtbags or why you're not doing whatever as a justification is bad. Yeah. You can revere people for being great scholars. Certainly. But if your basis of what you call a, um, authority okay if your basis of authority is for the fact that you just went to school 
under the guy's school. That's your basis of authority. You need to believe me, one of us, one of us, because you went to the guy's school? No, that's cult mentality. That's cult, okay? It's a Peter Ruckman cult. And there are a lot of people right now who, you know, Peter Ruckman has weird ideas. And people that don't have the filter, they don't have this filter where they can say, okay, this guy's off the wagon here. Um, people that don't understand that, they take these little doctrines, the really crazy stuff that the guy says, and they just, they build a church on it. They build churches on crazy stuff that people say. It's nothing to do with doctrine, nothing to do with anything, nothing to do with the Bible. They build churches on crazy doctrine. That's why I went after Gene Ken. All right. And, you know, it was not fair to Gene Kim because I have not watched that guy in a long, long time. And it's not because I don't like what he's preaching. It was because of the way he presented himself as being somebody above everybody else because he learned from Peter Ruckman. That was the problem. That was the problem. Enough of my rant. <laughs> Enough of my rant. Um, you know, those videos are still up. They're just unlisted. So... They're not deleted or anything, but I was, um, upset. Okay. I won't put it that way. What matters is the Bible teaches sound doctrines. Well, it does. Yeah. Valerie, they prey on new believers. I don't know. I mean, Gene Kim is doctrinally, from what I can tell, the, the standard Peter Ruckman teaching which isn't bad, okay? You got some points here and there where he's messed up, but it's not that bad. What Gene Kim has been doing, though, is in order to inflate, you know, his subscribers and clickbait, he's been doing videos pretty much for the last couple of years where he says exactly what he is preaching against in the title. And he's, he's doing YouTube clickbait stuff, which is fine. You know, I mean, that's just, that's just how you do it. And that's how you work YouTube. But Gene Kim, I think he's a pastor full time. Why do you need to do that? And you have guys out there. Like I honestly probably have more respect for Stephen Anderson because Stephen Anderson will put a title out there. That's ridiculous. And Steven Anderson actually preaches on his ridiculousness. <laughs> it's just, I have more respect for that. If you're, if you're going to, if you're going to play that game, go all the way through it, you know, go all the way. And it, it's a YouTube thing. And like I said, um, I appreciate the fact that, you know, I've always encouraged anybody out there who has the ability to make any sort of video, anything Christian, just go put it out there. I don't care if you have one subscriber. I don't care. 200,000. I don't care. 2 million. I don't care. It's important, you know, just to spread the gospel, spread the Christian message. And uh, yeah, at some point you're probably going to get flack. Ignore it. Yeah, guys like me and Ed out there to go take care of the flack. <laughs> That's what we do. 
All right. So that's what I got. I think I'm I basically done and covered everything. Um JW Rex deleted his videos. I did not see that. Okay. Well, that that's upsetting. Um, Jeff. Here's the importance of making things on the internet. And I know it's not everyone's calling to go out and go do this stuff. But it's going to be around forever. All right. And when you you take down videos or you know, unlist them or whatever, other people can't see them. Now, I can get hit by a car tomorrow and my stuff is still up. You can look at my Patreon and it's like, why is Max just playing guitar and singing and stuff? It's because I can get hit by a car tomorrow. I can show somebody something. Doesn't mean my entire life is based around doing um, gospel. Okay. I'd like to show people how to do things a little bit. Um, Don't take down your videos unless you're, and just don't do it. <laughs> don't take down your videos. Um, you're doing Christian stuff. Just that's, that's, I'm sorry to hear that about JW. He should have just left them up regardless, you know, like I said, I can get hit by a car tomorrow, whatever. My videos will be up there for for as long as I can. Spiritual gifts. Yeah, I told you. I, I think I even gave you the link. Don't go out tomorrow. What happens tomorrow? It's Monday. Oh, no. Um. I don't know. I could, you know, a, a JW, that's a, a new thing for me. I'll have to try and get in touch with them and see what's going on. Oh, what happens on YouTube? I want to tell the, tell you this is that if you don't upload something in like a week, um, if they don't have their page set up, you go to their page and it's blank. All right. You have to click on the videos and then it shows up all the stuff that they've done. And I think that's what's going on um, there with Rex because he hasn't done anything in like six months. You have to click on videos. Very important. And I also, I think, um, what's his name here? James Smith. James Smith has the same thing where he likes videos and that shows up in his playlist. But his actual own videos, he does a lot of them, but they don't show up at the top. So you don't actually know if the guy did anything. You got to structure your channel right. Um, Brett has the same problem. Brett, I'm talking to you. Put your upload playlist on your main page is the first thing. So people know when you create something. All right. Did I complain about everybody enough? <laughs> did I complain enough? All right, so there we have it. Um, go check out the people that are in the beginning of the video and um, 
people who, uh, you know, I'll have to watch it again. Okay. My thing on Gene Kim, because I personally myself don't think it was really fair to him. And my wife was ticked about it because she sent me the link. And so I had to double take on it and I'll watch the stuff again. And it might be back up. Okay. But for not having watched Gene Kim in like a year or something like that, it's, it's, it's being a total jerk just to nitpick on one video. It's not fair. I wouldn't want people to nitpick me on one video because I am off the cuff all the time. You can pick me apart all day long. And, you know, that's how it is. That's how it is. Now, I did say some other things in there, too. Um, regarding other people out there. Uh, my follow-up video, live stream, people are on there. Which, yeah. I don't have a problem with Matthias. I don't believe the same as he does. I don't have a problem with Robert. I disagree with him on some stuff. Okay. Same with Brad. Pretty much everybody that I, that I deal with, I have disagreements with, but we can all rock and roll. And that's why I recommended the people that I did. Um, they're very uh, respectful and let everybody have their peace and have their say, which is rough, you know, in a live stream situation. These channels, the channels that are set up here are actually built for that. Uh, modern day debate, that's what his channel is. Having people talk to each other and being severely moderated, I would expect. Um, yeah. That's what we have. I don't know if there'd be even any questions at all for me. You can go ahead and post them at Max Bauer in the little comment live chat thing. And, uh, yeah, there shouldn't be, really be any questions. I'm, I'm not really talking, talking doctrine. We have to keep advertising people. What's that? What's that about? Oh. That was the other thing that really ticked me off with Gene Kim. All right. While I'm waiting for any questions to come in for me, it was this whole idea that because somebody had more subscribers or more clout or more whatever, Gene Kim wouldn't bring them up. And he says that right off the bat. Well, there's people that just have, they're doing fine on their own. Why does that matter? Why does that matter? It's like, it's the one of us. One of us, one of us. No, if you're a Christian, why does it matter if you watch someone like Robert and also watch Dean Kim? Why is that a big deal? Why? Doesn't make any sense at all why somebody would do that. And I realize trying to trump up smaller channels and stuff like that is what Gene Kim was saying. But in passing, can't you say larger channels from PBI who believe like us, such as Robert Breaker, such as so-and-so, such as so-and-so, we're not really going to talk about them because they have a big following already. And here we're going to talk about these. Fine. The guy went way out of his way, way out of his way to not even mention people. And it's like, well, maybe, maybe those guys have the better teaching than you. Maybe they do. You know, and they're scared of that. 
it comes down to corporatism. I am a, a guy who, you know, I've uh, always had for the last year or two, something like that, around 4,000 subscribers, whatever. I'll bring up Ed. I'll, I'll bring up all these other people and good. I think Ed's almost up to 4,000 subs too. I don't, it's good. That's good. The goal is getting people into Christ. The goal isn't, you know, how much clout you have on the internet. That's not the goal. Getting people saved is the goal. Getting people saved by the correct gospel and assuring people they cannot lose their salvation. This is a big, huge deal. It's come up, you know, half of the people that I talked to on the phone who call me out of the blue. I haven't given up, given out my phone number in probably three or four months, but half of the people are like, I was saved. And then, you know, I watched Brian and I thought I wasn't saved and it's wishy-washy work salvation, lordship salvation, whatever you want to call it. We need to, we need to stomp those people out that are teaching that crap because they are leading a whole bunch of people astray and they're messing up, up their life. You can't now look, obviously when you get saved, you should have a walk and you should be walking towards God. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't mean you're not saved, but you should be doing it. And you have people out here. If they question their salvation, why should they walk with God? I messed up here and I told a lie there. Therefore, I must not be walking with God. So there goes the snowball. Um, those people need to be, you know, shut down, which is, you know, why Ed does what he does. There are certain people out there on the internet who do just basic preaching. Robert Breaker only does basic preaching. Okay. He'll just go through and do Bible stuff. Um, I am a smorgasbord, by the way, I do everything, but there are certain people out there that that's their thing. That's what they do. And there are certain other people out there, or preachers and pastors, and that's what they preach and do. Everyone has their thing. No one can do everything. Sorry to say, oh man, <clears throat> was that a long enough rant? I don't even know where I was going with that. Terrible. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, the gospel is the most important thing. And there are a lot of people out there. Heinz 57? Yeah, I am pretty retro now. Um, You know, I, uh, like I said, can rewind all the way to the beginning. They're not people that I endorse, just people to check out. That's it. And, you know, I hope I can see by the way that they speak and by the way that they uh, present what they're doing is it's kind of like an advertisement television show. And I'm sure they'll have like a million subscribers by the end of year. Okay. Good for them. Good for them. <laughs> I'm, nothing to me. I, I don't care. Right now they're small. Maybe I can help them out a little bit. All right. I have no questions for me. Valerie, do I disagree with you? What? London, Canada. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be disagreeing with. 
Southern Bell, have you ever heard of Frank Viola? Yeah, he was a pitcher for the Minnesota Twins, and they were in the 1987 World Series. Frank Viola was a very good pitcher. I think they won that one, too. Frank Viola was great. And read his book, Pagan Christianity. Well, I don't think I would read a book about a pitcher, a baseball pitcher, on Christianity. Hmm. No. Spiritual gifts. What make is my guitar? I have like five of them. It's all up on my Patreon. Valerie, I said I disagree with everyone. There you go, off the cuff. See? I use figures of speech and I'm off the cuff. Very much so. Very much so off the cuff. And you better believe me that Ed digs me every every time I do that. Yeah. I can I can actually probably do that. Um spiritual gifts. I do guitar stuff on my Patreon. And you can sign up and pledge and then watch the videos and then just cancel. You've got 15 days. <laughs> sign up and then just cancel. You know, I appreciate the support that I'm getting. I've um on my I I'm pretty sure I've got the computer stuff worked out which is really where this money is going and I also do I have to do long distance people want to call me on the phone from other countries and stuff like that um the big thing is the computer right now and that's all worked out and it's you know largely coming through Patreon and donations and things like that so I do, I like to make my content different. I could just as easily upload whatever content I put out on uh, my Max Bauer channel and just re-upload it to Patreon. I don't want to do that. I'd like to have Patreon have a, a separate thing. And because I can, I can do whatever I want on my Patreon, you know. Um, I have, of course, done it in the past where I just play guitar on my main channel, but... Obviously, this is a, a Christian channel. We're having Christian debates and uh, talking about specific topics here. Whereas my Patreon's free for all. Okay. I can come out with anything. And the money there just goes to support what I am doing as far as videos and uh, even being online and stuff. It's like I can put off something that I know I need to do to put something out like a video because <clears throat> I owe it to people who watch and support me. Simple like that. Simple like that. Going back at the guitar thing. I can grab a couple of them. I'll grab a couple of them, like I said. <clears throat> I don't know if it's unlocked on Patreon or whatever, but if you go to Patreon, if you want to see if it's, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> if you want to see if it's unlocked or not, um, you go up there and go to patreon.com and you just search Max Bauer. You don't have to create an account. You don't have to do nothing. And then you'll see the videos that are up there. A lot of them are unlocked. I unlock them after about a month. A lot of them are up there. You can see my whole music setup, um, a lot of me playing guitar, and and that's how it is. So, just for you spiritual gifts, I'll get up and get my guitars going. Ugh. 
All right, here we are. We have a Jackson uh, King V uh, from about 19, uh, what was it, 2010? They came out with this. This is after Jackson purchased, or no, Fender purchased Jackson, but they still uh, retained the compound neck. Um, the pickups in these in these models were crap. I replaced the pickup there uh, with a little bit better one. And that is, for the most part, what I play on, unless I'm sitting down. Because a flying V, trying to hold it in your legs is like you have to pee all the time or something. You know, I'm trying to clamp this thing. I do enjoy this, this way to play. But when you have to plug everything in, everything just, it just gets in the way. It just gets in the way. So this is the main one. Um, and honestly, it doesn't matter the guitar, it's the electronics that you're plugging into because you can make any guitar sound like anything nowadays. It doesn't matter as long as it stays in tune. So it stays in tune. Good enough for me. All right. All right. Now, the other one here that probably we'll see, it looks upside down for some reason on the on the screen. Huh, whatever. This is a Westholm, the uh, greatest guitar manufacturer, Matsumoku. Matsumoku uh, Westone guitar. This is basically a, sort of a Fender copy. Uh, it's a great guitar. If you're going to buy a guitar and you want to hold its value, buy a Matsumoku. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, I don't do, you know, they're single coil pickups, so I don't do a lot of hard rock, heavy metal on them, but this thing sounds and plays great no matter what I do to it. Just how it is. How it is. It's only 30 years old. 30 years old. My other one that I have out, Schecter Bass. They work good. I think I paid like a hundred bucks for it, and it's a four hundred dollar bass. I all they had to do was readjust the truss rod to get it to work. It was um, Best Buy was going out of business in their uh, music section, so I picked this one up, and you know I like it. It works okay. I'm not a bass player, but it works good for what I'm doing. And then we got, I have a Jackson Charvel. Jackson Charvel DLX 375 or something like that is my other guitar. And that's what you see my intro. Whenever I do the intro um, with the Max Bauer thing, with the, the bull that comes up, that's what I'm playing when I uh when I do that one. Woo. <laughs> so it went through everything. Oh yeah, it's Elisa's drum kit. The cheapest thing you could buy. But it works fine. Yeah. And a PV stack with a crate amp and their vintage 25s, vintage 30s, vintage 30s for the speakers, which are great for classic rock. You want vintage 70s if you want to play uh, heavy metal or something, but I got vintage 30s. All right. Wow. <laughs> so I covered a lot more than I intended to. <laughs> well, we went all through everything. That's all I have. <laughs> Pointing out the people. Um, I'm going to try and... Uh, High Church Anglican. Hey, High Church, put your um, a link to your channel in the comment section because I don't think it will allow you in the uh, where you're actually talking. And I'll check out your channel and see what you got. Theodoria missed it again. Yep, you did.
PUBG. Oh, yeah, I'm a gamer. Better believe it. I need a super fast video card so I can play Fallout 2 <laughs> from 1996. <laughs> All right. Well. All right, Valerie. All right, Valerie. We'll see what we're doing Tuesday. I'll come up with something. Um. Anyone who wants the, uh, you know, the, the Gene Kim links or something like that, just let me know. Uh, I, or if you want to just watch me be an idiot and play guitar, go up to my. Uh, my patreon because i am going to be doing more stuff probably tonight <laughs> being an idiot on my patreon so there we go that's what we got guys that's what we got no questions um check out you know smaller smaller channels and i don't care if they're bigger channels than me i don't care what they're doing um it's just something that's out there that's it's nice to keep an eye on yeah yeah, it's all good stuff. Video games don't send you to hell. Rich G, they obviously do. If you if you take that top string on your guitar and you tune it down to D, you're going to hell. You obviously know that. <laughs> all right. Yeah, we're watching Pure Flix. Apparently there's something called um, Salvation of John or something like that. That's on there. I just, we just got back from The Mule. Not a bad movie, but it was kind of overrated. Um, not bad, but kind of overrated. I'll probably be doing a review on that, if not today, in the next day or something like that. Aaron Good. Aaron, Aaron Good. Um, if you want to see the video, anybody who wants to see those videos, like I said, you know, I took them down because I'm not proud of them. Um, shoot me an email, maxbauerproductions at gmail.com and just ask for it. Okay. <laughs> all right, Valerie. It's all good. It's all good. And we're going to be having some more fun. Um, in the next couple of weeks, I mean, everybody's taking a break. I'm trying to keep going here, but I also, <clears throat> I have to reprogram a computer and I haven't bought it yet, but it's going to take some time to do. So, you know, we'll see. It's going to be kind of hit and miss with the stuff that I'm putting out. More than likely, it's just going to be live streams here and there. But when the computer is up and running, we're going to have handy cam action like you wouldn't believe and uh, satire videos. And that's going to be, you know, I'm moving off and ed doing entertainment, which is what I want to do. So. Or we are <laughs> and with that guys um that's what i got all right so we are gonna be out of here <laughs> thanks for coming